The PS3 was an infamously complex console under the hood, making it awkward for developers to make cross-platform games for it and making it even awkwarder for plucky developers to emulate on the PC. But over the last few years, a miracle of an emulator called RPCS3 has made PS3 emulation on a PC a reality. Here's our full guide on how to emulate PS3 games on PC using RPCS3. People thought that emulating the PS3 on a PC would be impossible for decades, thanks to its wholly alien architecture. And yet the team behind RPCS3 proved nothing is impossible, since today we can play games made for Sony's PlayStation 3 on our PC. Let's take a look at how you can now play PS3 games on your PC with RPCS3. Download and install RPCS3. Visit RPCS3's official website and download the emulator to your hard disk. RPCS3 is available for Windows and Linux. We'll be setting it up in Windows, but the process is more or less the same for all supported OSs. The Windows version is available as a zip archive. Extract the downloaded archive. RPCS3 doesn't need any installation, so you can just run it directly by double-clicking on the RPCS3 EXE file. Initial setup. Run the emulator, and if you wish, as it suggests in the pop-up window that appears, check out its quick start guide at its official site to learn how to use it. RPCS3 periodically changes information with its official site, like updated compatibility data for the games it supports. If you're behind a firewall, you should grant access to RPCS3 to allow it to update its data without having to do it yourself manually. RPCS3 emulates the PlayStation 3's hardware, but not its software. For that part of the equation, you'll have to download the original firmware that you would use on an actual console to update it. To do this, visit the official PlayStation site and click on Help in the top left menu. Choose System Software from the options that appear. The PlayStation site offers firmware for the whole family of consoles in the PlayStation family that are still supported. Choose PS3. Scroll down the PS3 system software update page and click on the Agree and Download Now to download the file. Return to RPCS3. Choose File Install Firmware. Select the firmware that you've downloaded from PlayStation's site and wait a while for RPCS3 to install the necessary files. This can take a while. RPCS3 will inform you when the process completes successfully. You'll have to wait a bit longer while the program precompiles modules which will help you load your games faster. More configurations. RPCS3 supports both digitally downloaded games in PKG files and disk-based games in either ISO or uncompressed folder format. Note, obviously downloading games you don't own is considered illegal in most countries and of course we won't touch the subject since we don't condone piracy. To run a game in PKG format you need to install it by selecting File Install PKG. Soon after it will appear in PCS3's game list from where you'll be able to launch it with a double click. The same goes for uncompressed folder formats or ISOs. Just select them and let the program do its stuff. Similarly, you can boot disk-based games directly by selecting boot game and then choosing their ISO or folder or disk. Disk-based games might also need installation, but unlike PKG versions of the games, it's done through the emulated PlayStation 3's interface. When booting a game for the first time, RPCS3 will compile some more files it needs to run. The process can be annoying and a little long, but thankfully it only has to be done once per game. Next, click on Pads to configure the emulator's controls. RPCS3 supports keyboard input, but it's better to use an actual PlayStation controller connected to your PC by choosing DualShock 3, DualShock 4, etc. from the Handler's pull-down menu on the top left. Xbox and other X input controllers are also supported by choosing the appropriate option from the same menu. With your controller selected, check out if it's detected by moving the two thumbsticks while watching their input live in the two circles at the bottom right of the window. Most joypads today have the same button configuration established by the first PlayStation's DualShock joypad, so you probably won't have to remap anything. But just have a quick check in case you do. Lastly, click on your game to start playing. That's when you may meet a second problem. Each game may need some tweaks in the emulator settings. Some don't run very well as yet, and others are fully incompatible. For example, we tested Demon Souls and it was displaying all its graphics as shadows. There are two ways to configure the emulator by clicking on Config or using the entries in the Configuration menu, where you set up its options globally for all games. Alternatively, you can use Per Game Configurations by right-clicking on an entry in the game list and choosing Create Custom Configuration from the menu that pops up. 
You won't have to try all available options to see if a game works. Instead, pay a visit to the RPCS3 wiki and search for your game to find the optimal settings. Link in the description. Create a custom configuration for your selected game and tweak the emulator settings as suggested in the RPCS3 wiki games entry. Then click save to make the changes permanent. Try rerunning your game and if it's compatible in seconds you'll start playing as if you were gaming on an actual PS3. This is a PC. OK, today's PCs are much more powerful than the PS3, so for compatible games you can also enable various things like anisotropic filtering and anti-aliasing in RPCS3's GPU settings for smooth game graphics and increased detail. Even better, you can increase the resolution scale to a number close to your monitor's resolution to have RPCS3 upscale the emulated game's graphics. Note though that some games may break when the emulator settings don't closely match the capabilities of the PlayStation 3's hardware. Upgrade games with patches. Newer versions of RPCS3 allow you to easily download patches for games through the emulator itself. Those patches may tweak its code to increase compatibility with some games and modernize others to take advantage of our PC's increased horsepower. Some fix annoyances such as removing long and unskippable intro videos. To use them, visit RPCS3's patch management window from the Manage Game Patches menu. Initially, RPCS3's patch list will be empty. Click on the Download Latest Patches button on the bottom left of the Patch Manager window that appears. RPCS3 will download all available patches and after its first list is populated with them, it will inform you that your patch file is up to date. You can enable Show Only Owned Games on the top centre of the window to filter the list to show only games you actually have. Alternatively, you can locate a specific title if you're interested by typing in its name in the Filter Patches field on the top left of the window. When you find the patches for your game that you want, that is if any patches exist for it, you can expand its title and enable them by ticking the checkbox on their left. You can enable multiple patches for multiple games and won't have to repeat the process in the future. They'll remain active until you disable them. Thanks to those patches, you can play some of the supported games even better than on an actual PlayStation 3. Demon Souls, for example, felt a lot smoother and responsive on the PC with its unlock FPS patch than it ever did on the PlayStation 3 locked at 30 frames a second. RPCS3 has passed the phase of trying to emulate most of the actual hardware and now its team is squashing bugs, increasing its compatibility and optimising its performance with new releases almost every month. Even if a game doesn't work today, it's worth trying it out again in newer versions of RPCS3 after one or two months. If you prefer to access a myriad of games from different gaming consoles instead, perhaps you need to try RetroArch. Link in the description. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.